All right, so I'm back. I have diagnosed this car and it is definitely the starter. At least, I'm pretty sure. The way, there, there's a couple things that could go wrong to cause a no crank, no start condition. There's a clutch pedal switch. If it can't sense that the clutch pedal is pushed in, it won't start. There's also the ignition switch, which can go bad and cause all sorts of weird things. But what you wanna do is you wanna just get access to the starter, put a meter on it and have someone turn the key. If you're getting 12 volts to the solenoid, that means that the clutch pedal switch and the ignition switch are working as intended. I'm gonna show you how I did that. The starter is located underneath the battery and you can kind of get to it from underneath, but the problem is the solenoid is actually on top of the starter and the starter motor sticks out. So you really need to access the side of the starter. So what I did is I took out the fender liner and then that gave me some nice access to the, uh, the starter right here. But what you want to do is on the solenoid, which is up here, there's this little plastic square. That's the signal that tells the starter to go. And you can see that this little guy, this little guy plugs into it. So what you want to do is put a meter in there, one tip in there, and then just ground the other one. Have someone turn the key. If it says 12 volts, that means that the signal is getting to here. So that means it's a bad starter. So we're gonna pull this starter out and swap in a new one and hope that it works. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is disconnect the battery. So in order to get to the top of the starter, we have to remove the battery tray, which is a bunch of stuff. Um, there's some other videos on YouTube that have this all mysteriously taken out before they start, so that's cheating. But I think one of the things that I was surprised about is this is power steering reservoir and there is an Allen down there that bolts this onto the battery tray. So we're going to try to take all these fasteners out and get the battery tray out. All right, there's the top of the starter. We're gonna have to unplug this guy, whatever that is. Now I know there is a 13 millimeter nut under here, but I can't see it at all. So I'm gonna go under the car and see if I can see it from the side. And I'm gonna use a deep well with a long extension. And then it should just be a couple bolts and this starter should come out pop the new one in. All right, so there's only two fasteners on the starter. There's one right there. There's another one up there. And they're both 16 millimeters. So we're gonna take those off. The bottom one's pretty easy to get to. We'll do that first. All right, there's a big boy. One more. Okay, to get the top one off, I have a 16 on uh, eight inch wobble extension, half inch adapter and a breaker bar. That was what did it. Victory! Maybe. Let's put the new one in. Let's see if it. Oh. Check that out. I think we figured out why it doesn't work anymore. The uh, solder joint from the power <laughs> is broken off. Yeah, that's that. That's the problem. That could do it. <laughs> 
Now you can see where the starter went in. It's a new starter with uh, actually connected to the solenoid. We're gonna drop it in from the top here. Like so. That's happened before. This guy back in. Yeah, we're gonna plug that back in. All right, so now we're gonna put power post back on here. The, uh, the new starter is installed, thank you, Sarah. And I gotta say, Volkswagen's approach to batteries is just <laughs> so stupid. I think it took longer to put this sh together than it did to replace the starter. Like, yeah, and, no. and I'm not even putting He's, back, yeah. I'm not putting back half this plastic and, and the little, the little blankie for the battery to make sure it doesn't get cold. What, why, why, why? Let's see if it starts, up in there. Survey says nothing. Did you not hear it? I heard a click. Yeah. It's clicking now at least. Pull your key out. See, this is that noise. Usually with a starter it goes like click 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 click. And then if the battery is dead, because what that is, the click, 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 click is, it's if the battery doesn't have power to turn the motor over, it, it the little bendix spins up. had the battery be up. so dead that it does nothing. Yep, before. but that's not but. it. But I'm saying the click, click, click that you described is when the battery is weak. Okay. Anyway. We replace this, replace the starter. I don't know. I'm done. I, I'm done with, with working on Volkswagens for a while. We will call AAA, get it towed somewhere and pay someone else to fuck with us because I don't want to touch the battery thing again, mainly. It's so stupid.